Hey everybody, Haku here with my live reaction or read through for Beastars chapter uh, 161. This one's called In Awe of Ignorance. Uh, and I'm excited to read, as I always am. Uh, where we left off last time, it feels like this time we're gonna get some, not like actual real lewd stuff with Q, but it's like she's going to say some of the weird and awkward things we have said sometimes in Beastars and Lugosi as like everybody's been saying in the comments and what I think Lugosi's just gonna sort of shoot her down and be like no 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 I am a good boy none of this is happening on my watch uh, but we'll see let's get into reading and uh, see what Padu decides to do with uh, this week's chapter uh, chapter 161 in awe of ignorance look to Gosi. These are breasts. Underneath them are muscles, bones, and organs. Touch them. Groping them, pinching them, or hitting them isn't enough to destroy a female spirit. That's what you need to know. Th that's what she means by knowing how females are. Wait, um, I, uh, wait, even if that's what you think. I actually think this is interesting, because what she is probably getting at here is we saw Lugosi last time holding back and acting like she would just be so ashamed if he pulled her pants down or whatever because she's a woman and acting like, I don't know, kind of looking down on her like she's so weak that that would embarrass her or if he hit her too hard it would defeat her. And I mean, like, she's probably, like, tougher than she looks, but at the same time a huge-ass carnivore punching a tiny herbivore, like, that probably would damage them to a certain degree from what we've seen. But... I do like the point she's making here, is that even if you try to hit me or embarrass me, like, that's not enough to destroy my spirit. And it's sort of a commentary on how he was looking down on her. The bulges covering your muscles, bones, and organs are still breasts. Female breasts. I see. No wonder you let Medon get away. Your arrogance makes you pity herbivores and brand females as weak animals. I hate the arrogance of large male carnivores more than anything. This isn't just fluff, now is it? Er, this isn't just fluff, now is it? Er, what do you think? And he goes blank. It, it's different? I, I see. Wow, if your breasts are bigger, then of course it's going to feel different. I never really thought about it that way. Oh, so, sorry, you probably won't believe me, but I already had a rather unlikely opportunity to touch a female's body, reference to chapter 44. You just feel so different from her. That's all I can say is, wow, unlikely opportunity. There's nothing wow about it. You still see them as female breasts. Why aren't you trying to study them like a normal body part? You're asking too much of an 18-year-old boy, he says. I'm grateful that you're serious about making me stronger, but you're a female and I'm a male and I want to respect that while I'm training under you. And then she starts touching with her... I was going to say her feet look really weird there, her hand feet. Then you won't become stronger in the true meaning of the word. You'll be nothing but a half-baked male wolf, unable to fight anyone seriously because you're o or because of your overconfidence in your body. And again, I like this. It's her teaching him how sort of arrogant his way of thinking is. If you can't change your heart, then you'll have to change your body. You'll have to stop being a male. Oh? And he dodges a kick. If I destroy your factory, your many other functions will cease along with it. I'll destroy your two balls in one stomp. No sweat. You'll destroy my factory. Wait, hold on a sec. Why are you resisting? You want to be stronger, don't you? Do you want to take... Or you want to take Madone down, don't you? You don't need your balls anyway. Not like you ever use them. And he's having to dodge her knives now. Stop. Be fair and merciless, Tagosi. If you let yourself become a strong wolf, you'll be invincible. And then he finally grabs her leg to counter. There's something I've been te meaning to tell you. My name isn't Tagosi. It's Lugosi. And he slams her down. In the same way you feel antagonistic toward carnivores, I feel awe toward females. Yet another wasted chance to attack me. Ah, uh, what does that mean? I don't have an education, so I don't know. Uh, um, it means when you're so scared of someone else's strength and grace that you feel like you should correct yourself, I think. Sorry, when I get home I'll be sure to look it up in the dictionary. That's what I feel toward females, probably because I'm a virgin. And 
Is this a flashback we're going to? What's this? Is number nine for sale manager. I'm going to put a price tag on her when she gets bigger. That's a waste. Compared to the others, number nine looks delicious. Q-san, you're cute. If a cute female rabbit can be as strong as you, then a virgin wolf can be strong too. I want to learn from you, and I want to stay the way that I am. Will a male er, will a male female teacher student relationship not work out for us? What a weirdo she thinks. I've been called delicious many times before, but this is the first time I've ever been called cute. You in love with me? I, oh, I'm sorry, I think you've got the wrong idea. So you don't. In that case, why was a rabbit mixed with er why was a rabbit mixed in with your imaginary chimera? Do you admire the species? I have a special fixation toward rabbits. What about you, Q-san? What was that big body that was mixed in with your imaginary chimera? That was... a panda. That was supposed to be a panda? Doesn't look a thing like a panda. I mixed a rabbit and a panda together. Why? Why does Q-san make me feel so calm even though I just met her? Why do I feel like I can trust her? Even I think it's strange. Maybe because she reminds him so much of Goheen, but again, it's odd. And again, that looked nothing like a panda. At all. Like, not the ears or the snout or anything. It's the species of my master, who not only rescued me from... Okay, so probably Goheen. Who not only rescued me from the livestock shop, but also taught me everything I needed to know to survive in the back alley market. The smell. Her cigarette uses the same brand that kind of strong doctor uses. Is he... And now we see the flashback of Goheen rescuing her. And I don't like it when Go see a smiling face. Oh, that's great. You're lying. He trained you? The Goheen san I know would never train a happy go lucky wolf like you. Yeah, well, he yelled at me a lot. He would have never tolerated you if he trained you when he was younger. He's gotten soft since he left his wife. Phew. I don't like the idea of a male female student relationship. But Gohinsan trained me when I was a kid, and he even trained a happy-go-lucky wolf. We'll change the back alley market at next month's meat-loving day. We're going to take Matt on down. There's no going back, Legosi. Right. And then they take each other's hand. She finally got my name right, he thinks. I like this. So we see her trying to teach him to not be so arrogant in his way of thinking, but him saying, okay, I do want to learn from you, but at the same time, I still want to be myself. So that's cool too, and how sort of he was comparing it to her being someone that's cute. She's still herself, but also strong. So uh, she was able to be strong without giving up herself, so he wants to be strong without giving up himself. And even if it's not the perfect thing, it's still, it still might be good enough. So I like that. I like that a lot. And the Goheen connection's nice and everything. Um... But yeah, that's just the one thing. Her imaginary chimera does not look like panda mixed with rabbit whatsoever. Not at all. The ears are like pointy and the snout is long like, well, at least sort of long like a canine's or at least a hyena's. So that's so odd to me. Um, but yeah. Either way, I enjoyed this. I liked it a lot, like every week. I'm going to go ahead and end this. I can get it up as soon as possible. But um, like if you did like the video and comment down there too. Tell me what you thought of this week's chapter, what you thought of my thoughts and reaction and all that. Subscribe for more. Uh, B Star is much, much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel or talk to you there. If you'd like a link or to our Discord server, just ask and I can give you a link. And uh, if you want to help support the channel on Patreon, it's patreon.com slash haku of the tubes, or a link will be in the description. But yeah, either way, that was fun as always, and I'll see you all next time.